press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Hello children, I hope that all are doing good. So today I am here with you to continue the lesson. The name of the lesson is Rip Van Winkle. So in the last class you come to know about a person. The name of the person is Rip Van Winkle. So he had a good qualities. He is a very kind person. He is a very, uh, it is, he is helping to the other people. Okay. And then he loved by all children who is living in his village. Okay. So then he was one day, and the one problem he had that is he was very lazy. Okay. So one day, so with his companion, he just went away from the village and he reached to the top of the mountain. So there he found, he met with the old person which is short, which is he had a thick beard, thick hairs and thick beard which is grey in colour. And that person, that old man, he is he just uh, with the symbols, with the gestures, he is just asking him for a helper to hold a barrel. Okay, then he helped him and that old person he just take him then where he was living. So then he, he saw that there are so many other old people they were playing that in that village, in that place. So they all looks like a same. And but they have a different color, shapes, beard. He feels very afraid because suddenly they stopped playing the game called nine pins. They were looking continuously at this Rip Van Winkle. And then that companion, that old person who, who asked him uh, help, so he has offered some drink. So he is also accepted and he drank some uh, glasses of uh, it's a drink or a, something which is very uh, feels like he will fell into sleep. Okay, so he was also very thirsty and afraid. Then he was also drank it so many glasses of water. And then he falls asleep. So let's see that after he, he was sleeping, so what happened to this person? The name of the person is Rip Van Winkle. Okay, so see here. On waking up, he found that he was at the place where he had first met the old man. See, he was fell into sleep. And when he was waking up, so he saw that he is in that place where he was met to the old person, old man. Okay. Then he rubbed his eyes. It was a bright sunny morning. So suddenly he rubbed his eyes. Then he saw it was a bright sun. Okay. It was a bright sun uh, which is in the morning. Surely I have not slept here all night, thought Rip. Yeah. Then because he doesn't remember that what happened when he was falls into sleep. So he thought that no, I have not slept for whole night according to the Rip Van. Okay. So then he was said to himself, I think I have not slept for a whole night here. Okay. So he said like this. Then he looked around for Wolf, but he was no, no, nowhere. Okay. Sorry. But he was nowhere. So he looked for his companion, that is Ulf, that is his dog, but he was not there. Then Rip whistles for him. You know the dogs are very loyal to their owners, to their masters, is it? So if he was whistling, whistling means he is calling, who Rip, uh, he was calling to the Ulf. Okay, so that sign, that symbol means he is just calling him by whistling. Then, Ulf, Ulf, he then shouted. Then uh, by whistling and he called him Ulf, Ulf, with the shouting he just called his dog. No dog was to be seen, but there is no dog there. Where, where has this dog gone? So he muted, muted means by with the low sound he just said where he has gone. 
then to himself he began to descend the mountain to go back to his village okay descend means to move down so he he decided that it's better he can go to his village he began to move down to his village because he is in a highest part of the mountain is it so now he has to come down from the mountain so then he decided it's better to go to his village okay then as he neared the village he met a number of people but he didn't know any of them so something happened something strange thing happened to him that the people who are who are meeting to this who are met with this um, a rip while he was going to his village so they all are stranger so no one is identifying him and he is also not identifying to any people okay they are they are like strangers to him the villagers also stared at him equally surprised who is this man said one even all the villagers means the people who are living in the village so they all are surprised to see the rip and one person he just said that who is this man you know he was came to this place after 20 years there are lot of changes in the in that village and now the wolf his companion it is also not there with him because it takes a long time that is 20 years okay the time is it's very long then i have never seen him before said another so one man said who is this man that another person said that i have never seen this person in in our village so he is completely stranger to us then look at his long white beard and his and his wrinkled face now this person rip has changed means his physical appearance has changed completely he got a long beard white long beard his face it was wrinkled like a old people he became he became now old not young so when he was went to the mountain okay so he was very young when he was returned back from there he he has grown the beard and that is white in color and his face is wrinkled okay so then On hearing this Rip stroked his chin and to his astonishment he found his beard had grown a foot long and it was all white when suddenly people were saying that he is a old person suddenly he looks into his chin and then he saw that he has grow, he has grown a beard okay and that beard it was the length of foot okay you can see in a uh, image here so when he was waking up it was a white in color whole beard and now it is very length okay it's very length and then and what happened in the next and then an old woman walked up to him and looked at his face for a moment for a moment so when there was a old woman so there he came near to the rip and then she has identified this is a rip okay so then and he and she looked continuously at the rip to identify this person then she exclaimed okay it is rip van winkel welcome home again old neighbor where have you been these 20 20 long years see what the sentence was said by the old lady so welcome once again it is a rip van winkel with the exclaimed with the surprised manner she said that it's a rip van winkel oh welcome home welcome home you are a neighbor okay what the neighbor old neighbor you are a old neighbor to me where have you been these 20 years long long years so he she is asking question so for 20 years where have you been so now you have understood that so this person rip van winkel he falls asleep for 20 years because of that drink which was offered by the old man okay so this thing was happened with the 
uh, this rip van. Okay, so you know this story I have told you, it's unrealistic. It's not real. So who will fall asleep for 20 years? But when we listen it, we, we feel like something imagination. Something like the story, it's already, it's existed in the world. Is it? And now at the last hour, we got our answer. He falls asleep for 20 years because of the drink. Okay, so this is the story here. I hope that you all have loved it and you all have enjoyed it. So let's talk about here um, some of the words uh, which is related to the lesson and uh, some of the question answers and some of the grammar part. Okay, so let's see here. Uh. Okay, so now circle the correct meaning of the given words. You may need to use the dictionary. Okay, here there are some words given and along with that word there are some other words given and those are the meaning of that words okay so we need to find out the right word for that uh, word okay so which is in a question form so we need to uh, find out the right word for right meaning for that word okay so he, it ha here it has given the three options so let's see here with the help of the dictionary we need to find out the right answer for that word okay so you know dictionary is very important to find out the meanings okay the right meaning of that word okay so through that we can enhance our vocabulary we improve our uh, vocabularies so what is the meaning of that word okay so now uh, let's see here idled away okay here is the word it is there it is present in the lesson idled away so here are the three options given here. So what is the right answer for that word? Wasted, rested, admired. Okay. So I will um, give you some of the uh, answer with, for a one or two. So after that, you with the help of the dictionary, so you can work. Okay. So now idle away, it means wasted. So you know Rip Van Winkle, he just simply wasting his time. Okay, how he was wasting his time? Without no work. He was not doing any work. Okay, although he had his own form. But then also he is not working. Okay, so this is. Then, constant. So what is the meaning of constant? You know, constant companion. Who is the constant companion? That is dog. The name of the dog is wolf. So what is the meaning of, uh, meaning here, that constant? It's a coffee. It's a construct. Is it steady? Okay, it's a steady. It's a continuous. Okay, it's a constant companion. Constant, that's it is. Okay, so this is about, and next you have some of the words like companion, realize, descent, barrel, contains. Okay, find out the meaning for these words with the help of the dictionary. Okay, so then next to main, match the words in the box with their meanings. You may take the help of a dictionary. Here, some of the words which is present in the lesson. So, what is here? Grizzled, stroked, astonished, familiar, and foot hills. Okay, with the help of the dictionary, so we need to find out the meaning of those words okay here already uh, uh, here the word sentences and words were given but with the help of the dictionary we need to find out which is the right answer for it okay near the lower part of a mountain okay you know there is a mountain so you know there is uh, here so like this so no one can stay here up top of the mountain you know here lower part so there the people are living so that is called as a foothills okay foothills where the people can live there okay they can settle there so that part is called as foothills then with the gray hair so you know in the lesson we got a, a grizzled grizzled beard which is called gray in color Okay, so now with the gray hair which means grizzle, already that word which is present in the box. To rub gently, when we rub gently uh, in our hand or some che uh, our cheeks and all, so that is called stroked. Okay, then to be very surprised, so we may also use the word instead of 
to be very surprised that is astonished okay astonished means to be surprised so when we look something suddenly we just feel we just feel like it's a shocking to us so surprise that is also called surprise uh, then shocking and astonished okay so we give some expressions it's a verbal or our face expression okay verbal means we say something or sometimes we use our face expression okay this is then known to you so known to you means it's a familiar the person who is familiar if the person who is not familiar that is called stranger okay the person who is you know them so those people are called as familiar if you don't know the people and you met them is it so those people are called as strangers this is okay let's <coughs> uh, read here here there is a main call true or false okay so here some of the sentences you need to write true or false the sentence is a right sorry true or false okay now rip was kind to children is it so rip was kind to children it's true or false yes true rip was a hard working man it is true or it is false yes of course it is a false because rip was lazy man he was not working at all okay so this answer is false short the short old man on the mountain was his constant companion the short old man okay when he was met to the old man so that man is a constant companion no so who is the constant companion the dog that is wolf so the sentence is a wrong one okay so the old man is not a constant companion okay then it's a false rip helped the old man on the mountains because he wanted to have a drink from the barrel is it no actually he need some uh, some uh, water means some drink from the barrel because of that he has helped no he don't know he doesn't know that what it is present in that barrel because the nature the quality of a rip was a kind nature helping nature okay so he he can't uh, he is not a greedy man okay so he is not bother about what is present in the container or what is present in that barrel okay so it is this sentence is wrong sentence is wrong here rip was way uh, sorry the rip was away for 20 years because he was asleep on the mountains yes he was slept for 20 years on the mountains okay so this is and uh, this is true the drink from the barrel made him fall asleep for 20 years so what the drink it is present in the barrel that made that uh, rip to fall asleep for 20 years is it true or false it's true okay so this sentence it is present in the lesson because of that drink he falls asleep for 20 years okay nobody recognized rip when he came back because he had reached the wrong village no actually he reached to his village but he became older and no one has identified him okay and he is also and he couldn't also he he couldn't identify the people who are living in that village he came to his own village okay so this is false the sentence is false here now complete <laughs> the following sentences okay uh, you know here the sentence is given here which is present in already in your textbook okay so you need to find out that sentence which you need to complete that sentence okay rips village was situated dash so find out the sentence which is in the lesson read the lesson okay so by doing this activity by doing this uh, gra uh, means uh, this work so read the lesson again and again and you will get the sentence there so write the answer for this sentence in complete sentence okay the children of the village loved him because so why the children of the village they were loved him because so you can complete it with the help of the lesson so read it and try to find out the answer dash was his constant companion okay so that is also present so who is the constant companion you know it 
So write down the answer there. The villagers stayed at him because the old man, the old woman who recognized the rib was. Okay, so this is. And the next is, uh, let's write. Work in groups for four. What were the strange things about the men on the mountains? You know, the, when the rip was uh, met to the old uh, uh, men there, so what are the strange things? So strange means it's not normal, it's quite different. It's different from the rest of the people, other people. So write down those uh, qualities of the people, people who are living on the mountains, okay? You know it. You know the qualities of the old people. So that rip was met there. Okay. Then next. Next is what kind of a man was Rip Van Winkle? What kind of a man he is? What kind of a qualities he had? So write those qualities. Again and again I have told you what, the, what kind of a qualities he had. Okay. So write down this. So one has given here, one sentence has given here that is he was a kind neighbor. Okay. Then. This is vocabulary building. Pick out the names of the games mentioned in the story. Okay. So we got so many uh, games names. Okay. So name of the games, we got so many words here and we need to write those names of the words and already you got the names of the words in, in a box. Okay. So only thing is you have to write down in a uh, line. According to the lines, you have to write down. That is flying kites, chess, nine pins. Shooting marbles, mountain climbing, shooting, skipping, hopping. So chess is not present there, is it? So what the other things were there? So uh, read the lesson and find out the game names and that one you write down here, okay? So this is. Sometimes, the next one is, sometimes we join two words to make a describing a word for example, Rip was a good nature man, everybody liked him, okay? Sometimes, we need to use two words and okay so two words when we divide it when we split the words it gives a different meanings good and nature so these two words were different okay the meanings were different but we need to use as a one but we will use this as a one word okay so that is called as a collocative words collocative phrase Okay, so here we have some of the words like this, okay, like how the good natured person Rip was, so like that we have some other words it has given here in the box, so what it is, long sleeved, high heeled, well dressed, open mouth, sweet looking, odd looking, part time, okay, so this is the words, okay, the two words which is used for a one word, okay, then. Mrs. Das has a dash job in a clothes. Okay. So what is the right answer for this? It's a part-time job in, in a clothes. Shop. Clothes shop. Yesterday and dash woman walked. Okay. So the right answer here is odd looking woman walked to the shop of the Mrs. Das. Into the shop she was wearing dash shoes high heeled shoes okay always you know the shoes it should be the high heels or a uh, flat a dash dog was with her sweet looking dog was with her i want a dash shirt for my dog please so she asked some she has asked some of the long sleeved shirt for his dog she said for your dog asked mrs das then Open mouthed in surprise, yes, replied the woman, I want him to be dash for my next party, well dressed. Okay, so this is. So here, there are some of the letters, okay, which is silent letters were present in the words. So let's find out which are the letters it is in a silent letters. What is common in the following groups of words? Knee. Knife. First we will... Uh, uh, say it okay knee knife not no okay so everywhere we can't say like knee knife no not a uh, no no we we don't use uh, the k like this so always if we got the words like this 
K it is in silent position. Okay, so it is in a silent. K is silent here. Neighbor, daughter, fight, straight. Okay, so G H is uh, silent here. Honest, honor, hon, hair. So H is silent in this. Okay, in this sentence. Then try and make more silent letter words. So here there are some words given with the help of the words. You need to find out some other words which is in a silent. Okay, silent letters. Then nut, tongue, chalk, whistle. Already which is silent letter you got it there. So there you with the help of that silent letter you need to find some of the other words. Okay, then tongue, chalk, whistle. Okay, so this is about the question answers and the grammar. And some of the activities, and the rest of the thing uh, you can do it by yourself, okay, with the help of your parents, okay. So you will have to create you uh, here is a creative writing, is it? Let's talk. You need to talk it, talk with your um, parents. There you will find out the right answers, and then uh, the creative writing is also present. So there. You have to create some of the story and uh, use some of the clues to complete the following exercise. So here there are some of the clues given. You need to complete the sentences, okay, with the help of the clues. So this is about the lesson and its um, question answers, okay. So this is. I hope that you all are uh, enjoyed this lesson. So we will meet in the next class. Till then, all of you stay home, stay safe, keep learning. Thank you.